Shades Free. So Fifty Shades Free is the final movie in this Fifty Shades trilogy that started way back in Bleach 2014, I think it was. One of those years anyway, but now it's the final chapter in this trilogy and in this movie good. I'm gonna pretty much say, guys, like I said, as I've been saying for the past two movies, I'm like, kind of movie, if this is for you, then you find some enjoyment in it. And me, anyway, I'm just like, it's just, yeah, it's more of the same shit you've seen in the last couple of movies. Movie, it's finally over. I pretty much just walked out of this movie, pretty much also just being like, eh, not as good as the last movie. And as far as the sex scenes go, I literally walked out just like, I feel like there were less sex scenes in this movie than there were in the last movie, and there's still that PG-13, like, censor type deal. Pornhub, you'll, you'll get it better. With that being said, I like to the protocols, why I believe that Fifty Shades Free is in theaters this Friday. If you're a fan of the books, it, pff, prepare to be disappointed. If you're a fan of the movies, also prepare to be disappointed. And here's why. Before we adding the movie, our two main actresses, you know, Anastasia Steele and Christian Grey, they're back and their acting is, as you remember it. And Christian Grey is still our undeniably hunky billionaire and still crazy as hell and shit. Yeah, still controllable, control freak. Wait, but God damn, he's a hunk, man. Look at, look at that, though. look at those abs. And she to play Anastasia, she's back in the movie and her acting abilities are still, like I said, as you remember them. She's still putting up Christian Grey's crazy shit because you know she likes that dominatrix shit. She likes getting, you know, she likes that shit. She's like, good for her. But not pretty much good for anyone else because like I said, as I'm going to say, this is what it's about. The sex scenes in the movie, there's, there's just, but before we get to that, look at the plot in the movie. Cause the movie has a plot, right? Yeah, pretty much the movie opens up with Christian and Anastasia they're getting married and everything. So what else the movie has to offer? Pretty much them going through, you know, typical married couple stuff. And then they have sex, you know, a lot of sex, a lot of PG-13 sex. And then like a guy from Christian Grey's past or whatever, now he does something to Anastasia and it's like that has an impact kinda in the movie, kinda. Not real impact or no real kind of payoff to like the last five, 20 minutes in the movie. And then it's like, okay, that's that's over and that led nowhere. And so plot is kind of muddled, kind of messy, whatever. I approach the movie, um, uh, Christian Grey, he's hot. He has a lot of shirtless scenes. You get a little bit more closer to seeing, you know, his junk. That's for the ladies out there, you know, ladies. You wanna see some Christian Grey, yeah. Chick play end stage and not the hottest girl I've seen, you know, and they do show her breasts a little bit more and everything, you know, her hard nipples. That's like, you know, that's cool. But as I said, as far as the sex scenes go, that's what Fringe is about, right? The sex scenes. It's about the sex, you know, the sex. A lot less of it, and it's still PG-13 as fuck. Just, just go to Pornhub, guys. Go to www.pornhub.com. There you go. A lot better than what you'll see in theaters with this movie, because it's just, eh, they bang a couple of times in the movie, but the banging that they do so much, it feels like a gimmick at this point. It's just pretty much like, yeah, that's the point of the Fifty Shades movie, to, you know, see them get sad sex, and you know, it's all about that sex. Yeah, but at the same time, the sex it's just it's not that good it's not really rememberable and it gets worn out so fast that they bang like five times in the first 30 minutes in the movie that you're pretty much just over at this point just like okay i know what this but nothing new so at the end of the day i'm just gonna wrap it up real quick and say 50 shades freed it's the final chapter in the 50 shades movie it's over we're free now i will say out of the three i'm gonna say that the first movie just because it was a one raunchy sex scene that i do remember that was you know that's a little note but for the rest of the movie you're pretty much you know just great grief for Shit, there's better stuff out there for you to watch this month. But some people out there love this franchise and more power to you, but for me, I'm gonna have to say across the board, Fifty Shades Free is still a three out of 10, which means it's just meh. Three movies, three mess. there we go. And that's all we got, subscribe, until next time. <laughs>